Hey MJ, welcome back to WBNN Channel 9 News. We've got a lot going on today, including info on the game against Station Camp tonight. I'm Shannon and I'm Autumn and today is Friday the 13th. Let's go to the scariest girl we know, Sabrina with the weather. Hey MJ, it's Sabrina. Today will be cloudy with a high of about 50 degrees and it may rain at around 1 this afternoon. Tomorrow the temps will peak at 60 degrees but there's a 60% chance of rain in the afternoon. This rain may continue into Sunday morning but it'll stop decently early. On Monday we'll have somewhat nice weather. It will be cloudy with a high of 67 degrees and the rain will likely hold off till that night. That said, be sure to go outside and enjoy the weather on Monday because it will rain on Tuesday and Wednesday, and it may rain on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. In national weather, states of emergency have been declared in Oklahoma and Missouri as ice is arriving from winter storm Jupiter. Heavy snow from this winter storm closed interstates and damaged buildings in the west earlier this week. Jupiter is currently heading east into the plains and the Midwest. I'm Sabrina, keeping you in the know for all of your weather news. Back to you guys. Thanks, Sabrina. The Phantom of the Opera is the new spring musical coming out from the MJHS Theater Department. The tryouts for the characters are on 17th and 19th. Those who get called back will be on the 20th. The tryouts for dancers and crew are on the 23rd. The first rehearsal for the production will be on the 24th. Now let's pass it to Jonas for more info on sports. Hey, MJ. Today we've got a good day for high school basketball as your Golden Bears go up against Stacia Camp. Both Mount Juliet basketball teams have had a successful season thus far with the girls tied for the district lead with an 11-3 record, and the boys are picking up a lot of steam, winning nine of the last 10 with a 10-7 record so far. The Station Camp boys are ranked fifth in the district according to Coach T, so a win here would be huge for the Golden Bears. Meanwhile, the Lady Bears are ranked 14th, so the Bison will have a tough time dealing with them. The freshman boys already defeated Station Camp 65-48, so we hope the streak will continue for varsity. If you can't make it to the game today, but still want to see all the action as it happens live, you can still watch our live stream on our YouTube channel, WBNN Channel 9 News. We've also got a hockey game tonight against Franklin starting at 5. It'll be at the Ford Ice Center. In national sports, the NFL Divisional Round is tomorrow, and they've got a good slate of games to watch. One of the most notable games this weekend is the Dallas Cowboys at home against the Green Bay Packers. The Cowboys have had an amazing season so far, with Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott dominating the league, helping the team finish with a 13-3 record. How about them Cowboys? The Packers, meanwhile, have won seven in a row, recently beating the Giants, while Aaron Rodgers has thrown 21 touchdowns and no interceptions in that span. Catch that game this Sunday at 3.30 in the afternoon. That's all for your sports news. I'm Jonas. Back to you guys. Thanks, Jonas. We're bringing back an old segment called Live at Studio B. Live at Studio B is about bringing amazing musical talent within our school on the news. We will have more information about it coming soon, but if you would like to be on this segment, start practicing or choosing what you would like to do. Now with more trending news, here's Nick. Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick here with your trending news. Move to Stand is having a competition for a national Dress Your Pet Day, and tomorrow is the last day to turn in your submissions. The winner will receive the prize after school next Tuesday, so be sure to email your pet photo at movetostand1 at gmail.com, but be sure to only submit one photo. Seniors, be sure to keep a lookout for the senior dance meets and practices coming up. The dates have not been officially decided, but start preparing for it sometime in the future. In other news, our theater department will be holding auditions for Phantom of the Opera within the next few weeks. Those wanting to audition for character roles will be on January 17th and the 19th, while dancer and crew auditions will be on January 23rd. The show dates will approximately be April 20th through the 22nd, but keep tuned to mjhstheater.org for more updates because it could change at any time. As most of you know, Monday is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so let's toss it to Kid President, who has a few words on this inspirational man. Once upon a time, there's a man named Martin Luther King Jr. It's funny to think about because now we know his name so well, but at one time, he was just a kid. Like, maybe you're a kid watching this. Well, he was a kid too. Well, maybe you're a grown up. That's okay too. Former kids are welcome here. I don't discriminate. Martin Luther King grew up to be a great man, of course. But things weren't all that great in the world while he was growing up. Not everybody was treated like they were somebody. And I believe that you should treat everybody like it's their birthday. But 
They didn't do that. People looked at the color of their skin, and that's how they decided if they were friends or not. Not cool, man. That didn't make him feel good. That didn't make anybody feel good. But his parents helped him grow up. He went to church. He learned about love. He grew up to be a minister to help a lot of people. He did all sorts of cool stuff. He helped a lot of people learn about love too. But still, he looked around and said, things should be better. He wanted to change things, so he did stuff. He decided instead of spreading the hate, he would spread the love. He wanted to bring people together. Where people were hurting, he stepped in to help. He marched with them, he walked with them. He walked arm in arm with everyone. Sometimes it didn't go well, but he kept going. Sometimes he ended up in prison, but he kept going. Some people didn't like him, but he kept going. Some days were hard, but he kept going. Love does that, it just keeps going, even when things are dark. And, well, I don't like this part of the story, but things did get pretty dark. Someone who didn't agree with him, shot him. He died in April 1968. Now keep, keep, keep pressing it. Why are you telling us this sad story? Come on. I know, I know, I'm sorry, but it happened. I don't like that happened. Now I gotta tell you something. When things aren't awesome, it can be tough. And things will always be awesome, but your response can be. Martin Luther King's response, it was awesome. Today I just wanted us to think about this. Isn't it cool that we can change things? Like any of us, anybody. He dreamed and he changed things, and he dreamed and he kept sharing his dreams. They became not just his dream, a lot of people's dream. Like this one. I have a dream that little black boys and black girls will join hands with white boys and white girls and become sister and brothers. That's a pretty good dream. Let's dream like that. That could change things. of being Dr. King's son, Dr. Martin Luther King III. And you can find our conversation in my new book, To President's Guide to Being Awesome. He's a really great leader and he even wrote a book called My Daddy, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. It's so good that I want to book it forward. I'm pledging to send 30 copies to a school in my town. What about you? How can you book it forward? Here's a few ways that people are doing it already. Look at this, it's amazing. It's really cool to see it spread. Thanks everybody. Thanks for being awesome people. See you next week. Hi, I'm Al Judah High School. Special day today as we get ready for our Martin Luther King holiday on Monday. You're going to have the day off and hopefully you won't lose your brain and your mind during all that time. But what we're really getting, like, we're excited about that. Hopefully you'll find something to read and all the good things that go with that and realize that there are people who have been on this earth that peace is important. But as we move to Tuesday, you come back in, we're going to have a little rah-rah time. So you've got to be ready for this because uh, we'll be moving during fifth lunch. Uh, your student council folks will be getting in touch with you on what the theme of the day for each one. We've got to know how to get in there. We've got to know how to do all these things and for whatever please bring your phone with you. There may be a use for that before that time is over with. But leading up to that, every class, you be sure you don't pull that phone out and let it distract from your learning because uh, that's why we've got the red maps on the wall. Uh, and if the teacher asks you to put them on there, put them up because that does, if it takes away from your brain working, I eh, haven't got time to fool with that. So on Tuesday, when you get back, first of all, enjoy the weekend, enjoy the holiday, but Tuesday, be ready for a good rah-rah time, fifth lunch. Teachers, you'll be getting information on uh, lunch times, and Mr. Duncan's probably going to send it out today to let you have that. You can be telling your third block folks what's going on. So get yourself ready. Have a good weekend and be ready to go on Tuesday. jeans just right I know you didn't buy them like that so baby don't even try that you dance oh you move yeah like there ain't nobody watching but girl you know I'm watching don't lie you got it all figured out but that smile
can see you move a little closer, closer Girl, I gotta get to get to know you, know you Everything about you makes me want you, want you Know what you're doing, baby, don't you, don't you Thanks, Nick. Now let's go to word of the day. Thanks for watching WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Shannon. And I'm Autumn. We're in touch. So you're in touch. Have, Have a, a freaky, freaky Friday, Friday MJ. MJ.